Hey y'all, hey, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna get into some general notary documents. I told you guys, I want you to be proficient in all of your general notary documents. And I honestly have yet to see a channel that goes through documents one by one and walk you through it. So I figure, you know what? Let me do that. So here we go. Let's learn some documents. So today we are going to be discussing application for a certificate of title with or without a registration. Now, this document is going to require that you are physically in front of the vehicle because you're going to need to verify some key things about the vehicle that you can't verify if you're not there with it. So let's go ahead and start. Most of this document will be filled out by the owner of the vehicle. You will just basically verify most of the information that's on here just to make sure it match what's on the last page. So here you're just gonna verify that the person wrote their name, they wrote their address, anything that is on here. So date of birth should definitely match what's on the driver's license that they're gonna have to show you in order to validate themselves. So you're gonna need to put their sex, the driver's license number, it should match what's on the identification that they show you. If there's more than one owner of the vehicle, you will put their information here, so both owners, the owner and the co-owner. But normally it's just one owner, so we're, that's how we're going to do this today. So ultimately you're going to come here. You're going to make sure that this VIN number is going to match the VIN number on the back. And that's going to match the VIN number that's on the actual vehicle. There's two places that you can find a VIN number. On the inside of the door and in the front of the car, like where the dashboard is, at the very edge. Most vehicles have a VIN number there. You're going to physically make sure that every letter and number matches. You're going to come down here and just like you would if you were doing an actual VIN verification, this is the same information. So you're going to basically mark whether it's five or six digits, the actual odometer reading. You're going to go ahead and make sure the miles that you see on the vehicle is going to be there. And here you're going to go ahead and make sure that this day matches the actual day that you are notarizing the document. You're going to check here that it's the actual mileage on the vehicle. You're going to come to the second page. This is where the VIN number should match the, the VIN number on the front and also should match the VIN number that's on the vehicle. Here you're going to go ahead. You're going to print your name here. You're going to sign your name here, and then this is where your stamp's going to go right here. So basically, you're just making sure that the information on this part of the, of the document matches the front part. And here, this is where the owner of the vehicle, if it's just one, they will sign here and put that day. If there's two owners, then this is where the co-owner would sign and date. You're going to make sure that your stamp, this is a small space, so you want to make sure that your stamp is pretty small. You want to place your, place your stamp there. And basically, if any of this information here goes with whatever situation that the owner has, they will be responsible for filling all of this information out. It's not your responsibility. This part here, the notarial part, that's what your responsibility is. And you are stamping that you're certifying that this document is complete and that it's accurate. So you're going to make sure that these match the name, the date of birth, the driver's license number, the VIN number. You're going to go ahead, the mileage, all of that information matches. Up here, the person that's the owner of the vehicle or whatever whatever type of vessel it is 
they are going to select whatever applies to their situation. That's not for you to do. The only thing you're doing is verifying this key information matches what's on the back. You're going to stamp it. You're going to make sure that the document is filled out in its entirety. And then that will be the end of your portion of this document. The person, they would then come here and fill out whether any of this goes with whatever their situation is. And pretty much that's the end of it. It's pretty simple. Basically, you're just verifying that everything is accurate and complete and you're stamping it. And that's it. Once again, thanks so much for coming by and be on the lookout for another video. Te beso bien suave en el limón, ma. Quiero con vino limón, no sé. Tu cuerpo es un carnaval, yeah. Tus ojos transcendental, yeah. Y tu espíritu natural me enamora con besos en el final, yeah. De África al tropical, nuestro amor.